Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluwa Yemisi and yes, some people still call me Shante. So today we are going to be creating this look together which was inspired by my friend Obehi of the Boss Signature and since it's summer season we can actually play with some colors, can't we? So I really like this look, I really like how it turned out, I like the pop of color on the eyes and uh, I like the lips as well. So if you like to see how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. If you aren't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please click on that subscribe button below this screen, please. And be sure to come back for more videos. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. You guys are the real MVP. So I did my eyebrows off camera just to save some time and make this video as short as possible. Then I proceeded to apply some tape of just to act as a guide for my eyeshadow and especially my eyeliner because my wing lining has sucked these days. I don't know why. I don't know who I offended. So I'm just applying this as a guide. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead to apply the Tara eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. And I'm going to blend that with a fluffy brush from Orange Beauty. Next, I'm going to be going in with this um, Hush Beauty palette and I'm going to be taking my transition colors from there. So I'm going to start with this orange right here as my first transition color and I'm just going to put that in my transition area. I'm taking my time to blend it all out because I don't want any harsh lines. I want it as blended out as possible. Next up, I'm going to go into this pink. I'm just going to apply that inside my crease. I'm going to focus this more on my crease than on the than in the transition space. Now I'm going to go in with the first brush that I used and I'm just going to blend all the colors together. For my outer corner and my inner corner, I'm going to be using this color right here, which is just a pink that is deeper than the one that I used earlier. With the brush that I used for the transition colors, I'm just going to blend out the outer corners of this pink that I have just applied so that it blends into the transition color that I have applied in. For the center of my lid, just to ensure that it stays popping, I'm going to go in and apply some more primer on the um, in the center. And for the color on that, I'm going to be going into the Nuban Obsession palette. You're going into this yellow right here. It's called Ikari, and I'm just going to pop that in the center of my lid. Now to blend all of this, I'm going to use the color that I used uh, in my crease, which is a lighter pink. I'm going to tap in some of that, and I'm just going to blend all of this out. I'm going to go in with the same pink that I used in the outer and inner corner and the outer and inner corner just to blend up this color that I've applied here just to ensure that there are no harsh lines. And with the transition brush, I'm going to blend all of that together. I'm going to be taking this color right here from the Hush Beauty palette and I'm just going to be applying that under my brow bones just to set the concealer that I put there. I'm going, going to go in with a transition brush again and just blend that color together. Now I'm going to go in with my Saron eyeliner in Jazz and another eyeliner. I'm just I'm keeping this eyeliner because of the brush or the applicator. I actually like it. It's finished, but I'm going to apply the eyeliner with that applicator. And what I just do is that I put it into the black eyeliner, the Zaron one. I'm sure that the applicator packs enough gel and then I just apply it. I'm going to apply this Nikake New York mascara just to prep my eyelashes for the falsies that I'll be applying later on. For primer, I'm going to be using my L Mineral Infused Primer. It's on my face. I'm going to move in to apply some corrector with my NYX uh, Concealer Corrector Palette. I'm going to be using the orange corrector in it, which is just right here. And with a damp beauty sponge, I'm going to be blending all of that into my skin. For foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Hagayanesta 
foundation, photo perfect foundation in bronze. And I'm just going to be applying that over my face with a damp beauty sponge. Now I'm aware they changed the packaging of this because this particular package is so not convenient for me. Like the applicator broke after like the first few times I used it. I think the second time I used it. And since then it's been a struggle getting product out of the bottle. Actually when it was delivered it was leaking already. But aside that I love the foundation. I'm going to be using the bottom of my beauty blender to blend all of that into my skin. Don't forget the neck, the air, like the foundation has to be properly blended into your skin. For highlighting my face, I'm going to be using a concealer from this same NYX palette. And I'm going to be using the top one on this side to highlight my face. So with the same sponge that I've been using, I'm going to change to the top of it and I'm just going to blend it. I'm using the bottom just to blend out the hash lines or any hash lines that might exist. To set my under eyes for the first time, I'm going to be doing with the Milani powder in medium and with this e.l.f. small tapered brush, I'm going to be setting my under eye. Now I'm going to further set that with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and with my beauty blender, I'm just going to tap in it all. And just such a blast under there. Turn every situation in a Set the rest of my face. I'm going to be going in with the Milani powder again, but this is in the color warm. Yeah, 109. And I'm going to be setting all the other parts of my face with that. Now, because I want a very light contour, I'm going to be going in with Maybelline powder in cacao and with this very fluffy brush, it's a big powder brush, not so big, like medium size. And then I'm just going to tap into this lightly and just apply that. I'm going to take the same powder in uh, medium and I'm just going to try to clean up the big contour of that. For my under eye area, I'm going to be going in with this same palette from Posh Beauty and I'm basically just going to repeat what I did up down. Like I'm going to use the pink that I used in the outer and inner corners. I'm going to put that underneath here. And I'm going to be taking the yellow one from the Nuban eyeshadow palette and pop that in the center. And with the brush that I used to transition, I'm going to just blend the colors together. For my waterline, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to be applying mascara on the lower lash line as well. For the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to be taking Bida from the Noban Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to be popping that in the inner corner just to open up my eyes a little bit and I'm just going to be extending my eyeliner right into the corners of my eyes as well I hope I don't mess this up because I always tend to do that but I'm gonna give myself some credit today and I'm just going to go ahead and do that To give some dimension to my nose, I'm going to be going in with the same cacao powder from Maybelline and I'm just going to be using a fluffy brush to apply that. Dust off excess powder on my face, I'm going to be using this fan brush and I'm just going to be dusting off all that powder. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and put this blush on. It is the Slick Blush in the color Flush. For highlights, I'm going to be using my favorite of all time. I use this in all my videos. And I'm going to be mixing both colors, this and this. I'm going to go in with the blush brush and just try to blend the contour, the highlight, and the blush together again so that there are no hash lines. Now before going on to the lips, I'm going to spray my face for the first time with the Zaron Makeup Setting Spray. 
And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go on and apply my new color. For my lips, I'm being drawn towards brown. So I'm going to be going in with this LA Girl Lip Liner in Cappuccino and then the Noban Beauty Lipstick in Cocoa. Okay, so because I feel this might be a little bit dark, I'm going to go in with a Inuban lipstick as well. It's in the color Hush and I'm just going to apply this in the center. So finally, 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 like I mean finally this time, I'm going to apply this setting spray from Scandinavia and I'm just going to put that all over my face just to ensure that I'm dewy. So I'm going to go and fix my hair, like my edges, and I'll be right back.